What's happening right now is there's a nutrient overload in the lagoon and that muck, it's all organics, nitrogen, phosphorus, and that's what's causing the big problems like the fish kill. And so solving the muck problem is really the goal to fixing the Indian River Lagoon right now. And so that's what we're aiming to do with our project. We're focused on getting the muck out. So our project is a suction head for a dredge. So what dredges do, there's various types. They pick up sand off the um, seafloor. So what ours is in particular is it has a variable area. With that, we can fine tune the flow that we get into our suction head. And by doing that, we can pick up just those fine materials and not the coarser sediments. So we can get the muck out of the lagoon without actually disturbing the sediment profile underneath it. So there's a gear system underneath this covering. This just protects the gears from grass getting stuck in there and things like that. Um, and the gears move along these four shafts. And by um, the movement of the gears, we can adjust this height. So the closer this is, the, well, the smaller that this height is, the higher your flow rate is. The higher the flow rate, you're gonna pick up larger sediments. We don't want large sediments, we want the, just the small stuff because we don't want to suck up everything. We just want to get rid of the muck. So we open this up, that lowers our flow rate, which brings in only the fine sediments. The suction head itself is stationary when it's on the bottom, and then we have our intake hose that connects to the top, which, we're, which is how the water flows through. Our tests are going pretty well. Um, our goal for this year was to not pick up any sand larger than 0.2 millimeters and we achieved that. We had, in the median sand size, we had over a 50% reduction with every single trial from the control group, somewhere in the 80s. So the system that we've designed here is really focused on kind of pinpoint targeted dredging uh, at a precision scale that just can't be achieved with dredging techniques available right now. And so um, a system like this that's small can really, can really get around people's docks with a bit more accuracy. Uh, so the, the project is really a three-part project, uh, getting the muck out, how do we do that? So we have to design the suction head and the deployment vessel, but then we also treat it. And so working with my colleague, Dr. Tom Waite, we've been developing a ferrate, uh, uh, kind of a small-scale ferrate treatment system for the, the dredge slurry. And that then runs through our treatment trailer, which goes through the ferrate treatment system. It's a series of reservoirs and mixing tanks and, and at the end, the ferry causes the, the, the solids and the organic uh, and, and the nutrients to precipitate out. And so with that precipitate, it's very iron heavy, which is very good for growth and plants. So we've kind of been working on how to recycle it into a fertilizer. So I actually did kind of a side experiment where I planted control groups of peppers. And so I grew two sets of 40 peppers each and one I treated with the precipitate from the fairy treatment and one I just gave plain water and there was significant growth. We had more pepper production out of what we treated with the precipitate. So it does its job as fertilizer which is nice to know that it can be recycled like that. Well, when I first <laughs> got involved with the project one day Dr. Reber was just like hey do you want to work on the dredging project and I was like yes absolutely and as I kind of went through it I realized that I really really liked dredging and so now that's what my thesis is on, that's what my career go goals are, it's all circled around the idea of environmental dredging. I don't think either of us have ever built a suction head for yeah. a dredge, I mean Dr. Weaver's very good about not just assigning us tasks like I want this design built, built it, he's like how do we build this, mm -hmm. what's your input, and so it's not just delegated, it's really a group effort, yeah. which I like. Yeah, and he lets us fail. So that we learn. Yeah. <laughs>